Now that we've established a good baseline of DAX calculations, I want to spend a little time discussing some principles around visualization cues and tools to help you pick the right visualization in Power BI. These will give us the right tools to understand how to translate our data into impactful visualizations that are easy to understand and tell a story. The first thing I want to discuss is the concept of visual cues. Visualization cues are the ways which we can take data and present it visually. It's how we translate information from thought into sight. Here is a display of the primary ways which our brains perceive the differences in size, quantity, quality, or value. Most reporting tools these days contain a variety of visualizations that utilize a combination of these cues to display information. However, not all of these are created equal. Studies have shown that our brains perceive these types of cues differently, and more specifically, some of these are easier to interpret than others with regards to differences in a value. Let's distribute these cues across a ranked axis, ranging from more accurate to less accurate. It might seem obvious to some that length, slope, and angle take the crown when it comes to accuracy for value variances. What I want to draw attention to, however, is the volume and area cues here in the middle. There are certain chart types that often deploy these cues. Certain charts that you've probably seen hundreds if not thousands of times. So let's explore some examples to see how drastic the change in data perception can be between these chart types. Let's compare area versus length. To start, here's a set of values with varied sizes in their total areas from each other. Now, here's those same values, but as columns instead. Both of these sets of data are the same size in relation to each other. But do you notice how much easier it is to perceive differences with length versus area? Let's take a look at these two areas below. From my perspective, they appear almost the same size it takes a second to notice their size differences. Those same values, when displayed as length, are much easier to notice the differences in size comparatively. To give us some perspective, let's take a look and compare a couple of Power BI charts. Again, I'll be comparing area versus length for these examples. To start, let's compare a Power BI tree map versus a column chart. If we look at category C and category D on the tree map, and then compare that same data on the column chart, we can see that the differences in size are more easily identified on the column chart. Similarly, let's compare that column chart to another visualization, the pie chart. The pie chart is arguably the most common chart outside of column charts in reporting. However, it's considered by many to be one of the worst charts to use when it comes to how accurately we can read it. If I highlight those same values on the pie chart, we can again see that the accuracy of size differences is harder to tell on that chart. What makes it even worse is that the axis rotates around the chart, making it even harder for fair comparisons of the values against each other. So take into consideration the visual cue you're using when it comes to deciding a chart type. Another important aspect to knowing your visualizations is how to identify the right chart to use, depending on the type of data you're using and the story you're wanting to tell. A great tool for this is called the Visuals Reference, made by Marco Russo and Alberto Ferrari over at SQL BI. It categorizes the majority of available visualizations in Power BI into categories based on how you want to present your data story. I'll provide the link at the end of the video as well. Now there's more categories and visualizations that I want to cover for this video, but let me briefly walk you through how to use this visuals chooser before wrapping up. To start, Let's take the comparison category as our example. This first section at the top will be the list of top pick visuals for this category, meaning these will best represent your data and also typically offer the most features for customizing your visualization as well. The second option is a list of preferred visuals. They might not be as high quality or represent your data as accurately, but they still work well in many situations, though it is better to use the top pick ones when you can. Thirdly, this section is the not preferred visuals. While technically they can work with this type of data category, you will have better alternatives in the preferred or top pick category, so it's best to pick something else if you can. Lastly, this bottom section is reserved for the remaining visuals that are not recommended. Avoid these as they might misinform users if used with this category and or tell the wrong story. 
I'll leave you to explore this in more depth once you've downloaded the file, but overall, knowing your visual cues and pairing your research with a tool, such as the visuals reference, will give you a great start in choosing a quality visualization to accurately represent both your data and the story that you want to tell. Alright, so in our next video, we'll dive back into Power BI Desktop and create our first chart.